Hey, buddy. We're gonna make sandwiches. Chicken Italiano and a chicken Americano. Okay? Obviously, you know what the rest of the pepper's gonna be for. Put a little saran wrap on it like that. Sit it over here, and then the, the skin will come right off. These are gonna be breaded cutlets. I'll show you how to bread cutlets. Now, I don't like to waste anything, so I'm gonna do, I probably could've got away with one, one egg, but I'm doing like four, four, four chicken breasts, like they're four ounce chicken breasts. All right. There's so many variations you can use this for. You can, if you have young kids and, and okay, but if they if they want, you know, uh, chicken fingers, you can make chicken fingers, chicken parm. Okay, I want to show you something with the chicken. See how thin this is, and this is a little thicker. Now I'm making a sandwich. I don't want. I, I'm not going to pound the crap out of it. I'm just going to get it so it's nice and even. So when I cook it, it's even, and we put it on the roll, it looks nice, it has a, a nice look. But you can uh, easily, for chicken farms at home, you can easily, um, I don't want them wet. So if you ever read a recipe and they call for dredging, this is dredging. Flour first. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, Italian parsley in the, in the panko. Now, for you, the panko has more of a pop. It's got a better texture, so most of the chefs are using it. Right. Just put it in there, okay. Get it coated, and then when you coat it, you wanna put some pressure on it. Uh, yeah, my parents are from Abruzzo. So, Abruzzo is a region in Italy where the finest cooks come from. You know, what can I tell you? But uh, I have to tell you, I heard, I read that somewhere and I'm sticking to my guns, okay? I have a lot of my paisans. When, you know, we all came, when my parents and their parents came to this country, we all lived in the same neighborhood, man. It was awesome. My dad had a tiny, tiny food market. It was Grand Central Station over there. Everybody met. And uh, it was good stuff. So I'm only doing two sandwiches. Actually, I made potato salad. I made American potato salad for the Americano. We do medium heat because they're a little thick, and I don't want I don't want them to get I don't want to get them burned on the outside. I'll wait for that. I'm going to check on this pepper. This pepper should be ready. Look at this. Peel that right off. Look how nice that comes off. It's a little hot. Yeah. When you put it in there with that lid on it, the old Italian women, they used to put it, they would put it in paper bags back in the day. You know? Look how nice that looks. You want it to get a little brujade, you know, because it's easier to peel and it gives it a little char flavor. You know? I'm, I mean, I only have one pepper. You think I like doing one pepper? I usually do a case at a time. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for a minute. I want it to cool off just a little bit. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this uh, this cooking. I get, got a lot of feedback. The young guys are learning some stuff. I hope I can teach you. It's great. I mean, the first thing you gotta want to know it. That's all there is to it. It goes for it goes with anything, though. I want it low because I want it to cook all the way through. I don't want it to be raw when people get sick. Look how nice that looks with the parsley in there. I always use fresh whenever I can. I have um, dry parsleys and granulated garlic and all that stuff in the pantry, but my first go-to is fresh. I mean, I even take the time to go to the market and make sure I get it. Look how nice they came out. Huh? Look at that. That's pretty. Look at that. Beautiful. You could do this with veal parm. You could make, make veal molise. The veal chop, you pound it like we did with the, the nice veal chop. Pound it real good. Do the same thing. Have a nice marinara sauce ready. Nice fresh mozzarella. Do that. What I just said, finish it in the oven because it's not going to be finished because it's got a bone in it. 
finish it in the oven, pull it out, put the hot marinara on it, put the fresh mozzarella on it, stick it in the oven again for a minute or two so that mozzarella runs a little bit. Beautiful. And then we're going to plate this up. I wanted to get a little chill in the potato salad. The, the American potato salad, the mayonnaise one especially, has to be cold. The Italian one is it's just olive oil, um, uh, white wine vinegar, garlic. But I, you know, I did a little, I fooled around with it a little bit. I put some fennel in it because this is the time of the year for fennel. And the fennel's pretty good. The potato salad, I, uh, simple recipe, salt, pepper, I put a little bit. I took a hard boiled egg. I won't talk to you about an egg too. Peel an egg, you, you find it to be a pain in the ass when you're peeling it. I'm gonna show you, see this egg? I put it in a pot of water, covered it, had two of them. Put heavy salt, brought it to a boil, right? Um, after it boiled for 12 minutes, I, put, I pulled it out and it just comes right off like this, the shell. Look at this. You don't even have to wash it off. See how nice that came off? And I'm sure everybody who made hard boiled eggs was sitting over there peeling, peeling, and peeling, drive you nuts. Well, that's the trick. Bring it to a boil, put a lot of salt, cook it for 12 minutes. And the other thing is, you want to see this too, when, you, when you're done with that egg, right? You look, at the, look at the yellow in here, how perfectly cooked it is. There's no green around the rim, okay? So that's important. This is done. I already chopped some garlic. I'll put that in there like that. Too much because it's only one pepper. Olive oil. Not too much, please. I'm gonna plate it up real quick. We'll do the Italian one first instead of say. Look at this brisciot. Beautiful brisciot. Look, I sliced it myself. Came out nice. Uh, imported provolone over here. I'm gonna put that like that. Okay. I'm gonna put this over here like this. Since I'm eating it. I don't want you guys in the in the in the hoagie business to take my sandwich, steal my ideas. I don't care. I love it. Okay. Look at that. Okay. Look good. And then I'm gonna we're gonna put a little bit of this nice light Italian potato salad in there. All my friends are big eaters, so and that's the. That's the Italian favorite. Now we'll do the Medigan, the American one. Real simple. This is easy, easy peasy. Look at that. See, you want that cheese to get, I just want it to be like that. I don't want it melted. I want it to be just like that. I made a sauce for it, okay? It's almost like a thousand island because that's what we want. Not too much. Then you got the tomatoes. I wasn't sure how many tomatoes we needed. So the trick too with the, with this is you want that that dressing to be on. You want the tomatoes on the top like that. You want that dressing to go over that tomato, and that's what makes it nice. Okay, that's it. So anybody who wants to eat lunch with Mario, bon appetit. <laughs>